You know the number one thing I hate about being a YouTuber? 99? No. 95% of the time I love it. 5% of the time I really detest it. And this is after doing YouTube for a couple of years. Why? I will give you all the resources, my knowledge, literally everything I know, and then I'll get fucking DMs asking me a question that I said in the video, or asking something so obvious, like, hey Simone, my crush is like super toxic, and he doesn't like me, and he disrespects me, but I like him so much, like, what should I do? God, it's so common, and you know why it's common? Because people love to be led. People can't wait to be led. That's why Andrew Tate blew up to be as big as he is, and other self-help leaders in the female and male space. Guys, you're always gonna be a loser if you don't actually implement the stuff that people online talk about. How do you expect change if you're just watching these videos and they're not even implementing what we're telling you? People will do anything but the work because that's why we consume so much self-help content because it makes us feel like we're actually doing something. You know, on my other channel last year, I made a bunch of study videos and <laughs> I got this comment this morning and it said, I clicked off the moment she said, there's no shortcut. I replied, bro, maybe you should actually go and study instead of spending your time watching these types of videos. Because I almost guarantee that hour you spent watching this content, you could have got an hour of study done. Instead, you're spending time to look for a shortcut. Secondly, this is my more important point, but you actually need to think about the content you're consuming. Now, more than ever, there is so much crappy information online and going back to my earlier point where i said people can't wait to be led it's human nature we like to be led some people are leaders but the vast majority of people are followers and they want to be led so when there is like an idol that comes about people can't wait to hop on and follow them it doesn't really matter what they're saying whether it's right or wrong these types of idols they can say whatever they want whether it is objectively wrong whether it is actually good or not, but if the vast majority of people agree with them, and by the way, they will, because like I said, most people want to be f so they won't actually think about the information they're consuming, then suddenly everyone would deem this right, and that creates a more toxic culture online. That's because a large amount of people agree with what this idol is saying, it doesn't make it true. And if we get into philosophy, is there even an objective truth? You have to have critical thinking more than ever now. You need to take everything with a grain of salt. One thing I really immensely dislike about the internet nowadays is that everything is so black and white. You say one bad thing, wrong, one wrong thing, cancelled. And you guys know at home that you say a lot of bad things. You know those memes? And it's like seeing creators get cancelled for things I say on a daily basis. Why is everything black and white? You make one bad mistake, you're cancelled. Two, if someone has a different opinion to you, they're demonised. Especially if that opinion doesn't go along with the masses, you're demonised. One of the good things, however, about the internet is that now there are so many creators that it enables audiences to find their community that they fit in with. The problem lies when you get such large groups and then they're just spreading the wrong message. Honestly, I thought about not making this video because, to be honest, if I was smart, I wouldn't do this. If I was smart, I would just make my audience feel like we are in this together. We're all thinking the same. Come adopt my thinking. Let's have an us versus them effect. But I actually can't stand seeing stupid comments anymore. I really have to tell you guys, start to think critically. Maybe when you start doing this, you'll realize, hey, I don't even agree with what Simone is saying. And that's fine. Because don't forget, opinions change. So you can't just blindly follow someone. Like, I've made videos when I was 20, 19, and I watch them now, and I'm like, mm, you know, I don't really agree with what I'm saying here. I've evolved. Then I would get people who watch those videos, because obviously if it's on the internet, it's there forever. And then they'll watch it and be like, hey, Simone, but you said this when you were like 19. Views and opinions get outdated as well. You know, sometimes I wonder, am I just preaching to a wall? I understand that we have confirmation bias and people will always seek what confirms what they're thinking. People don't want to know the truth. In fact, there's a quote I saved, brilliant quote. So the quote is by Robert Greene and he says, never appeal to truth and reality unless you are prepared for the anger that comes from disenchantment. And that's why when I made this channel, I 
was very prepared to not read all of my comments because I know people are not going to like what I'm saying because it's not conforming to their confirmation bias, right? Like I said, I feel like I'm talking to a wall sometimes because I can be saying, hey, think critically about what you're consuming, but because of our inherent confirmation bias, we probably will turn off that critical thinking because we don't want to think critically about something that is confirming our fears. One of the most dangerous traits of being stupid and being stupid online is having confident ignorance as well. It is when you think that you know everything and you're so fucking confident about it. You need to humble yourself. And this is one of my favorite quotes, but the more you know, the more you realize how much you don't know. And that is so humbling. The most stupid people in the world are the ones who don't listen to other people's opinions or perspectives and they think that they know everything. They think they are right. You cannot have that mentality. In order to grow and to be the best person you can be, you have to be open-minded. You have to hear other people's opinions. You don't have to agree with it, but be open-minded because you never know what you're gonna learn from someone else. Or perhaps you may realize at the end of the day, maybe I don't agree with what I'm saying after hearing what other people are saying. And that's why I always encourage discussion in my comments. Sure, as a leader figure on YouTube, I am presenting my opinion, which probably will be followed by a lot of people who watch this. But like I said, you should take it with a grain of salt. If it applies to you, you can take it in. If it doesn't, there are so many other creators out there that will resonate with you. Or perhaps take what resonates and then leave what doesn't. You don't have to agree with everything I'm saying. You know, sometimes I think society is going down such a dangerous path. Thank you to TikTok. And I will make a whole main channel video on this. But, you know, I took a break from TikTok for about a month. And every two weeks I would come on, do like an hour of scrolling for marketing reasons, you know, for my job, I kind of have to know what's going on. But the point is I was not consuming this degenerate content every single day. 90% of content on TikTok is so dumb. 10% is good. And I really encourage you to take a break from it. Cause when you come back, I can always guarantee you that you are gonna view this content differently. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I couldn't believe how people were thinking. I was like, fuck, fuck. You guys are so stupid. And the other problem with it is that you can get someone that says something so outlandish. And then because you watch that video and you interacted with it, you may get like, say five more videos in the span of an hour with someone saying the exact same thing. Now, realistically, those five videos could actually be the only videos on the entire platform speaking about this stuff. But because you got those five videos in the span of an hour, you may be thinking, damn, everyone thinks like me. Because it warps your perception. And that's why you have to think critically. I promise you guys, when you start to think about what you consume, you will probably become a very angry person. <laughs> because the past year, I started to think about what I was consuming. And then I would read the comments. I would read my comments. And it would make me so angry and that's why I often have to take breaks from the internet and you will see how everyone wants to think the same and it is like an evolutionary thing where we go with the masses we're more safe because you don't want to be the lone wolf a couple of months ago I made a video on my main channel titled something like in your favorite influences are problematic and I'm going to quickly touch on what I talked about in that video right now so often in influencer and celebrity cultures we have people who we deem as like angelic, they're perfect. Examples, Emma Chamberlain, what have they done that's problematic? Not much. But you know what's also true? A lot of these types of celebrities, they don't share their opinion. A lot of people who, if they're smart, unlike me, they don't share their opinions. And if you don't share your opinions on controversial things, you're not really gonna get hated on for it. Cause you're not actually saying anything that's causing a divide between people. So how do we actually know what these people are truly thinking? Is the praise they're getting deserved? I honestly think there's going to be a massive shift in content in 2023. More people are going to be outspoken. We're actually shifting towards more woke culture. Don't know if it's a good thing because a lot of the woke culture videos online are actually kind of dumb. Let's also touch on the fact that people will always believe whatever they want to believe. You guys know if you watch my main channel, I recently made a video on how to manipulate people. This is because I'm a psychology grad and I 
literally analyze everything. So this is what I picked up along the way. And I said to them, I actually don't do these things. I examine what other people do and I read books and obviously I have my fucking degree. And then I would say maybe 5% of the comments were from absolute idiots going, you are evil for putting this online. And I'm like, honey, you know, this content is everywhere. Literally everywhere. In fact, I got some of these tips from a male manipulation channel I watch. But is he getting hated on for it? No, he's a man. People buy his courses on this stuff and he tells you to do it. I didn't tell you to do it. I said, do it if you want to, but if I were you, I would use it to not get manipulated because I believe high value people don't have to use these tactics. But obviously these people wanted to believe I'm evil. So these comments are like, Simone, I'm unsubscribing. I thought you were better than this. You're evil. Okay, if you're that dumb to think that, then unsubscribe from me. You know, as much as those comments made me angry and upset, because I'm like, you're taking what I'm saying completely out of context and just running with what you want to think about me. I kind of was like, it's actually a good thing that these people unsubscribe to me and stop watching my content because I don't want you in my community. If you are that stupid enough to think that that is my motive, when I clearly stated in the video that it's not, I don't want you in my community. You're an idiot. Go, go join someone else's dumb community. I am so proud of my two channels and the people who follow it. Cause I will say that 98% of people in my community, they're great. And you guys also know how much I connect with you. I have my private account. I fucking meet up with so many of my followers. So many followers have become my friends and I've traveled with them and I hang out with them. I don't like put myself on this pedestal where I'm like, I'm better than you. So I'm super proud of this community. Anyways guys, don't forget, my journal is gonna be released in next week's main channel video. Actually, it's coming out in a few days. I'm losing track of time. Look out for that. Ich liebe dich. Tschüss.